January 5th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I had a pretty good response for first day on my weather uh, series. I got six official responses today and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Actually everything I got reported on was a beautiful day today with uh, some of my viewers. Thank you. Please continue. Uh, let's begin. Uh, the, the Extinction Protocol's got a, ad, or a story up Volcano adding to flood worries in Indonesia. January 4th, 2011. Uh, apparently, uh, Mount Maripai is still causing trouble. Recent heavy downpours caused the volcano debris to flood rivers and devastate public facilities in its path. I'm guessing that's bridges, etc., etc. Then on to the living planet today. More than 20,000 people evacuated from their homes in southern China due to freezing temperatures. Uh, so China's still in the grip of winter. Thousands of crabs die along the, the Thaets coast, T-H-A-E-N-E-T. -E -E I'm not sure how to pronounce that correctly. Um, quote, we believe the sudden temperature drop caused the crabs to suffer from hyperthermia and die. Um, apparently thousands of dead crabs and mysterious deposits of black sand have littered the, the coastline. And in the United States, uh, Spruce Creek, Florida had thousands of fish and a big fish kill. Um, they were saying the fish kill is unusual according to the people who live along the creek because it's warm. Um, so apparently they don't know why these fish died in Florida. <clears throat> and, um, and in Canada, another fish kill. Uh, Sarina, Ontario reports a, a fish kill on the St. Clair River and they quote, we think it's a natural occurrence, Kowalski said. They died off as the result of a temperature shock because we had that really warm weekend and then it quickly cooled off again. So they had a big fish kill because of the weather in Canada. Uh, they got a story on an um, oil spill in Washington's Gig Harbor waterfront. Um, they got quite a big spill there and they don't, they're don't—they're not really sure who's to blame yet, but they're looking into it. Uh, and then in um, Maryland, Chesapeake Bay had a huge fish kill. And they're saying that's due to uh, cold temperatures and shock due to the crazy weather we've been having. Brazil. Hundreds of tons of dead fish wash up on shore. Now, they're not really saying anything too specific about this. Uh, let me see. On Sunday, representatives from the Environmental Institute of Parina, the Secretary of State for the Environmental and Water Resources, took samples to verify the reason for the deaths. The report will be released on Tuesday, or will be released today. And they don't have anything on there yet. Uh, more potential snow in Boston, Providence this week. And then again, a woman reports dozens of dead birds in her Kentucky yard. So we're still having more and more. It just seems like it's, it's, it's bird and fish kill day today. Then on the RSOE, off the coast of Malta, in the Gozo coastal area, that's in the Mediterranean, uh, they're reporting a unusual jellyfish bloom um, because of the the high temperatures of the Mediterranean water. And um, let me see, thousands of purple jellyfish had bloomed earlier than usual, and a few days ago swarmed the coastal areas in Gozo. Da 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 da. But they're not saying they're trying to limit tie this into global warming and um, with all the cooling going on this winter and all the extreme cold temperatures uh, I'm thinking there's something else going on that causing these jellyfish to um, bloom early and north of where they're supposed to be and that's about it for the the climate change update today I will be posting another uh, my weather tomorrow and the next day and the next day and uh, please continue to support me and uh, if if you can't get out and videotape, and if you think it's boring to do, just go ahead and just quote down below on those, and uh, we'll keep track that way. So, either way, enjoy what you can.